Hey guys, let's tackle these sinking funds today. Hello everyone, I'm Melissa and you're at the Budgeting Sisters. Today I'm going to start and we're going to be doing my sinking funds and then in a little bit we'll hear from April. Now I've mentioned the last couple times that I am trying to I'm trying to just get started with putting in the sinking funds. Now, my husband does do $100 a month towards his end of the sinking funds, but that isn't till the end of the month. So, for today, we have a few mini challenges that we completed over the last couple weeks that we'll be putting in. But I was able to come up with a little bit of money. And let's see. We have five, oh, they're new, five, 10, 15, 20 dollars. And we will tackle the 100 envelope savings challenges with our one dollar bills. We'll do that in a little bit. But for today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this 20 dollars into some of the sinking funds and we're gonna add in the challenges that we also completed for our sinking funds now let's see oh and i did add an envelope here in the back um i haven't put in a dashboard yet but it's coming um this is for getting one month ahead we had talked about how this needs to take priority even over thinking funds. Because if I can't pay my bills in the case of an emergency, then paying for Christmas or birthdays or anything like that doesn't isn't important. What's important is, is that we can pay our bills and survive. And we have food and gas and rent and, you know, the four walls that we have talked about in the past. Now, somebody had mentioned to me when we were talking about this down in the comments that they were a little confused. Is this one month ahead, is it going towards emergency fund? And that's where it's going to stay? Is it going to be used monthly to pay? So like on the first, I can pay all of September's bills or all of October's bills. And then we save throughout the month for the next month's bills to be paid on the first. Now, I had forgotten about that option. So what I have decided that I'm gonna do is this first one month ahead is going to be part of our emergency fund. I'm gonna leave it allocated for a month's worth of budgeting, but it is going to stay within our emergency fund. Now, after we complete this one month ahead, my plan is to do it again because I absolutely love the idea of on the first of the month paying the whole next month's worth of bills and truly being one month ahead in all of our bills that we're paying. Because, I mean, come on, we all roughly know about how much we're gonna spend on our power bill or on our phone bill or things like that. Yeah, they may vary a little bit, but for the most part, we know what it's going to be. So I loved that suggestion. So that's what we're gonna do. The first time we go through this, it's gonna be for the one month ahead in the emergency fund. The second time will actually be to go in our budget to get one month ahead. Okay, so let's flip back to the beginning here. We have a total of six sinking funds, well, seven with the one month ahead emergency. So let's just deal with this one thing at a time. Costco, 
Let's turn you this way so you can see. Costco is only going to get today the money from this honeybee challenge that we completed on one of our mini Mondays. Now, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put ten in here and I'm going to put one dollar into our hundred envelope saving challenge when we get that out in a minute. So we're going to put that aside. Put this ten dollars into Costco. That now gives Costco a total of, oh, I just mixed it up, 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, $50 already into the Costco font. I'm super excited about this. I still haven't even gotten the card, guys. And I still haven't honestly even made a decision if I'm going to get it. But I figured even if we decide not to get the Costco card, we can change this category to say pantry and use this money to stock our pantry um, and things like that. So... Either way, it's still going towards pantry type items. So that's $50 into Costco. Now the dogs, let's see how much they have here. They already have a total of $40. So technically my plan was to put $5 towards dogs. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to put this five that was going to go for dogs back here into the one month I had. Because my dogs are more than spoiled. They are our children and we spend enough on them. Yes, this is for emergencies. Like if they have to go to vets and things like that. Which one of them does have an appointment coming up. But... As of right now, we have that in the bank. So that was our plan all along. So I don't really want to touch that money yet. Now, for a starting out, $40 is plenty. That'll buy a month's worth of food for them. They're good. So I'm going to take this five. Instead of allocating it towards dogs, it's going to go ahead into the one month ahead. Now, let's skip back and see what we got next here. Where did we go? Okay, dogs. So we skip dogs. We will fund, we will make sure to fund dogs next time, next week when we come back to sinking funds. Medical, I am going to go ahead and put $5 into medical. So that gives us. Put this in play here. Oop. So now medical has a total of 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 dollars into medical. So that's good. The next one is seasonal. I would like to count this and see what we got in here. Because this one has the most amount, if I remember correctly. Let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So 128 dollars in seasonal. To me, this is more than enough. So once again, I'm not gonna take the five dollars and put it towards seasonal. I am going to leave the 128 into seasonal. 
and move this back into the one month ahead. So right now, one month ahead already has $10 into this account. Now, the reason I can say 128 for seasonal is enough is because it's just Ken and I. We do not have kids that we need to take out, you know, extra funds for. We do not have kids that we need to bring out and do the corn maze or the, you know, if you do trick or treating or harvest parties or even at Christmas time. Yeah, we like to help, but still $128 is more than enough to help somebody with Christmas and still be able to provide Christmas for ourselves. So that's why I say $128 in seasonal is more than enough for this week. Because remember, until we get that emergency fund one month ahead, all of these are secondary. Now, technology. I know we put a little bit extra in there before too. So let's go ahead and look at technology and see what we got. We have 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, $45 into technology. Now, hmm. we have technology and transportation. I am going to go ahead and put it in. Should I? Yeah. Ken's shaking his head yes at me. So we're going to go ahead and we'll put in this five into technology. So now we have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dollars into technology. That's good. Good, good, good. Now, the last one we have is transportation. And we had finished another. Oh, no, this wasn't a mini challenge. This was we sold. What did we sell? The credenza. We had like a credenza entertainment center type thing. And so... Ken picked that he want because he did the work so to sell it. So I said, where do you want to go? And he said he wanted it to go in transportation. So transportation is going to add 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, $80 into transportation. Now, $80 may seem like a lot, but remember we're getting to move into our RV. We're getting ready to move into our RV. This buys one full tank of gas in the RV is $80 at the current rate. So this is definitely huge to be adding in to our transportation fund. So now let's put this all together and see what we have into this account. We have... 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155 dollars into transportation. That is so, so, so exciting. That means we can already fully get to our first destination and back again if we have to. So, that's exciting. Put that in here. So, we have put, and we do have the Walmart gift card as well. So, we have started with um, $10 in our one month ahead already. So, that's good there. That's a good start for this week. Now, I do want to quickly bring out the 100 Envelope Saving Challenge. Now, we are not doing this the normal way. We're not doing it by according to the weeks. We are just stuffing them with $1 bills. 
Now I do have a few odds and ends in here. That was ones that we had saved just randomly, you know, cleaning out our pockets throughout the week. We had three $1 bills and then we carried over this one from our B challenge that we won earlier. So there's another $4 that can go in here. One, two, three, four. All right. So this is getting there. And then once we get this all filled, we will decide what we're going to put the money towards and what we're going to do from there. We may just keep going with ones. We may go to fives. We may do something totally different. I have no idea. But for now, we're doing $1 bills. And even though we do our mini challenges, these still, even just randomly collecting them, they're adding up fast, guys. They are adding up. I actually found myself at the store the other day saying, no, don't spend that $1. I want that. And using a different bill instead. So, <laughs> it's obviously doing something because it's motivating me not to spend money at the store. So, that's good. All right. So, we are off to a great start for the month of September. And now, let's head on over to April and see what she has for tonight. Bye, everyone. April and Lilo here for the second half of Sinking Fund Wednesday. Let's see. We've got, I believe, $45. Five, ten. 10. Now we get a lot of ones to count. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So we've got $45 to put into the sinking funds. So let's get started. This one is for pets. And we will, let's roll the die. Three. I want to do the scratch offs just because those are unknown to me. So we'll go one, two, three. And we got a one. All right. Let's go again since that's three. One, two, three. A one and a two. So we will put in three dollars. And I didn't bring my vacuum. And Lilo's like, what the heck is all that? Sorry, Lilo. Ugh. All right, so we will put three dollars in for now. And we will go through and do the initial um, allocation and then go back with whatever's left over. So we will do five into travel. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. The uh, scratch off that I use for pets is from the Budgeting Sisters. One, two, three, four, five. And can be found in our Etsy shop at budgetingsistersshop.etsy.com. And this one is from a collaboration between Mindy's Budgeting, Hot Mess Budgets, and G and K Designs and Budgets. HOA. each Christmas light is $2. So we will do three to start. And 
we will add six. And that's from the Budgeting Sisters. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's in our Etsy shop. Up next is registration. This is also from the Budgeting Sisters. Let's roll the dice. We rolled a three. And let's roll one more time. And we rolled a five. So we will put in eight dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. All right. Back at the front. Let's roll a die and we will scratch. This one is a one. And let's go one more time. Two. One, two. And we got a five. Well, that didn't work either. Ugh. All right, so we've got six dollars going into pets. And let's count what we have in here. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, I'm gonna condense out and put a ten in. So we've got twelve dollars in pets. Travel, we've just got six left, so let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, wait, actually, we'll take a five and a one. And let's count what we have. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. 98 dollars. No, yeah, 298 dollars. And actually, there was two fives. Actually, let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll take another ten from my pile over there. Perfect. And I'm trying to decide what I am going to stop at. I am going back and forth about stopping at 325, I don't know, but this is the next one we'll put in. This is also from the Budgeting Sisters, and let's see, 510, so 10, 20, 30, $40 will be for that. HOA, let's see how much we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's do these last two in this row for four. One, two, three, four. Now, HOA last year was, I don't even remember, Lilo stop 500 and something. And this year is going to be way more. So we've got 120, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. 171. Let's trade out some of these ones. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we will take Actually, we will take this five also and put in two tens, which is great because I love to keep the higher dollars in here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven dollars left. So we rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see what we can cash condense here because this looks like all ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We got nineteen dollars. Let's see if I have any more tens over here. Okay, so we'll take 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Perfect, we do a little cash condensing Why we also do our cash stuffing. That works. All right, so we are left with $2 and we will color in this number two. I have been doing some homework about George's medicine, so you will see that in an upcoming video. I want to make sure that I am getting it. Oh, I get scratch off stuff everywhere. Getting it at the cheapest price because it is getting very pricey. So we will put that in here. What do we got? $14, yeah, perfect. All right, so that is my sinking funds. Now, it's a little late, but let's get a debt update. So originally I started out with $111,664.84 in debt. And as of the end of, well, it says the end of August. I don't know if it matters, but I just did it. So as of probably September 6th or 7th, my balance for my debt was 96000 $936.66. I have paid off a total of $14,728.18. It was a big jump this month, and I'm not sure why. And I don't know if maybe I wrote a number down wrong. Looking at the ones that have the bigger jump, um... For some reason, it's my 401k, which my 401k loan, I should say. So I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if last month I just didn't write down the right number. And the other one that I want to keep an eye on is um, my Lowe's. That one went down a lot. But it looks like maybe in the prior month, I didn't write down the number correctly or I didn't wait till my payment had been posted. Lilo, if you wanna know what's going on with the other cats, you have to get down. You can't block the whole thing. So on the bottom here, I wrote September's Lowe's additional $1,114.49. Is at 0% interest rate and needs to be paid by December 12th, 2025. And this amount of 1114 is not included in my Lowe's balance. Of, I can't, $6,326.48. Because I want to keep that separate because I am gonna pay that off before um, the 0% interest rate 
goes away. So I am very excited. Um, I honestly don't know. I mean, we've got September, October, November, December. We've got four months left in the year. So it looks like I will probably be in the low 90,000 um, and really close to paying off 20,000 in debt this year. I don't, I don't know. I definitely won't make 20,000 because anything extra is going towards this, which isn't included in any of these figures. So, um, but you know, 15,000, um, was originally back in January what I was hoping to pay off this year. So I would love it if, you know, as the snowball gets going and money becomes available and other things don't come up, that I can do 20, 25,000 in a year and get this all done in three more years. Honestly, the original goal was to have it done in 2026. So I just don't know if um, that is possible or not. So we will have to wait and see. Lilo, you are driving me crazy. So that is the debt update through the first week of September. I don't know what we'll see for October because maybe that's why September is high. Maybe some extra payments have come out. So I don't know, but I am very excited about this. The snowball, the debt snowball works or at least is working for me. And we are going to get this debt paid off. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you entered the drawing for the uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaways, uh, make sure that you've watched the video to see who won. And if you are a winner, reach out to us by Friday or we are going to have to draw again. We're still waiting for a few people to respond. All right, I will talk to you all later. I hope you guys are having a great week. And make sure to like and subscribe to the Budgeting Sisters and comment below how your week's going and um, how you're liking it being almost officially fall now and the weather's cooling off. This is my favorite uh, type of weather, fall and spring. So have a great week. Bye.